two, one, five, and then we can say something like, yeah, an intro, and then we can talk about it. I also thought about. So, the do con- we want to say the intro every week, or whatever? Oh, well, we can do it. We can pre-record it. Um, obviously, that's in the works, right? So, it might be better if we don't record it, just to be more. I mean, it's it, it works both ways, right? If you record it, it will sound better. But if you don't record it, it sounds more relatable right like we're just people so mm-hmm. what i realized is that a lot of the times people don't really want like a man manu- like especially on youtube people don't really people care like if you have quirks and if you make mistakes people actually like that and i enjoy that too so mm-hmm. yeah it's uh it's not like talking to so we'll have machine, a spoken right? intro right we'll right right so we can write something it. but like um it does it can be recorded we can try mo- like depending on how you want to do it we can try both ways or do one or the other it doesn't really matter to me mm. um because I, I mean we i guess we have to try it to know what we like better right so um we can try by not recording just we'll 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 try i mean i'm pretty sure we can like even make videos and like upload it to have like like when they want when you want to put media and they they let you upload files that are a couple of minutes long so like when you're doing presentations or lives you can be like oh watch this clip and then you can preload it so we can do that like as an intro so Mm -hmm. i think that might work um i haven't messed around with too much i just i was researching it today so um we can do that i think that would be a yeah good way to start and one more thing is that for content um since this was started out of a like a church small group bible study session what Mm -hmm. what we can just extend that so so we can use the material that we used on Sunday or what we talked about and then we can just do the same thing run and then, off on tangents and see what right 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 up. so like we took this week if we if you didn't have anything planned we couldn't just talk about what we talked about Jacob Jacob's ladder you know all that controversy with the angel or God or whatever or um, is mm. it a myth or we can talk about that by bringing it in and then it will be pretty it will, it will, it will, it will I think it will be easy for us because it would literally be a bible study or a talk afterwards about the bible study or the sermon Mm. and it'd be easy to bring people into it later if they want to because it's literally what we have been doing in the past that's my thoughts what do you think definitely where we started we could uh we could also though one of the things that uh we used to get that we used to take off on was is uh we'd uh oh when we were reading through tim keller that one book that neither of us were really fond of yeah it's right here. is it sitting over here yeah uh if we have we can go over that know, too i like the idea of having like <clears throat> a devotional thing that would normally be kind of like i don't know uh not that interesting sort of maybe even pass a for certain uh for certain people for for certain groups just because like i think that's a general experience where you end up with these really lame bible studies that you end up having to get wa- walked through by some some leader who's just a volunteer and doesn't really know any any anything besides what's in the book and uh to go through and deal with those ideas a little bit more critically because mm-hmm. like, we that that was something that we did have opinions on we're like i said this and i don't know i that's what they used to say in the 90s and it didn't really work out or whatever this, these mean, kinds of opinions to be honest i don't remember anything other than the book other than the fact that he wasn't coherent or at least he wasn't consistent <laughs> and i knew that he talked about like ancient greeks but i don't uh-huh. even know who uh, so yeah, I I, obviously it wasn't about. important enough to stick in my mind so so i yeah. just mean we can go over uh, it again and it, i might have a different opinion because oh it, i see yeah. what you mean I like i don't i don't even remember what i read yeah i don't remember much either something about work yeah, it's it's about work. No, no, no. I do remember something because I only remember it because it's something that I already do. So it's like do the best that you can and don't treat it like work because it's not that work. was the thing. Yeah, he has yeah. all these different theories on like what what do we think of work and uh, yeah, what's what's the policy for what, what's our personal policy for for making for doing work well or what what is it that glorifies God or what, the, all these different examples. Which was interesting. I actually that could have been good for a discussion. You know what? No, but... we can we can definitely use that, and we can go over the book. You have the book with you, right? Or like, you have it, right? Not with me, but I I mean I have it. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's so here maybe maybe you can go through chapters by chapters doing that because I think we, we can even do like a book analysis review type of thing, which is I think it's it's it'd be interesting. Cause... I think that's the one that keeps coming up. That's one of the one of the ideas that keeps coming up because then we can itemize these ideas into into your smaller conversations and then talk about those and that's usually what, what ends up happening anyway we get caught up on something that goes from a, a right, right. two minute remark to like this giant 
15 minute conversation so well you mean like yeah. an hour and a half <laughs> or an hour yeah those poor people yeah. are small group uh, they're like when can we go home yeah yeah well i think one or two of them enjoyed it sometimes but not all the time i, I know. know it's always heavy yeah <clears throat> yeah and so um so i was thinking about intro something like i don't know this is kind of cheesy it's pro i mean we'll probably have to fix it all I'll right be let's like, get it we I'll can just like, run like yeah yeah so i'll be like hello hello this is kenny k along with co-hosts and then you can say jeremy webb or whatever and okay or jerem or Jer- uh, yeah, oh yeah kenny k well, and anyway. jeremy right and then, oh, and then you're gonna say something or i can say it gay couple yeah well yeah okay that's kind of awkward <laughs> now and then you can and you're listening to small talks radio grab a coffee tea or maybe some sparkling water and then enjoy oh, the yeah. show yeah, props placement. are important <laughs> <laughs> okay sweet i think we should uh have like maybe 20 different intros to go through and then uh see which one we like the most and then maybe synthesize some of them because eventually something will land honestly we can't even do like i don't know how many that how many we can do you sometimes i can do it, sometimes you can like every episode does not need to have the same that can be our yeah, thing we could like you know what i mean week. like like yeah. that's like our quirky like cool um like mm. down to our type of thing and just we say the cheesiest lines and then it gets cheesier over time that could be a thing mm-hmm. i mean we're, this I is an experiment so this is just for fun if people pick up on it they do if they don't you know it's just yeah. fun for us which means that I need, now is the time when we can experiment and do exactly yeah anything and if it works it works if it doesn't we know what doesn't work right mm-hmm the Homestar guys did that. I don't know if you remember uh, Homestar Runner and Strong Bad Emails and all that stuff. That would have been popular in like 2000 to 2010. And it was this old Flash animation. It's It was hugely popular. Uh, but their one of their like flagship title uh, cartoons would have a different intro like every week. And it's like, how do they even sustain that? But they have a solid like 208 or 9... Uh, cartoons all with these different uh, introductions that uh, you can just keep coming up with them all that yeah. hard. no no I totally get it and like 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 I said we might not like it doing it and we might like doing it so we don't know until we do it and if we mm. feel that it's like daunting or um, you know we're not creative we're enough we're boring ideas, people yeah. then we can you know write up like two or three five maybe and then just cycle it we can also like you said record it and then do it again or we can just use the same mm. thing over and over again which will depend on how we feel mm. yeah no, that's good i also i'm digging that sign back there that sign is like perfect we need to never it is. change it's, that it's, sign. it's a movie sign so like the thing is it's too dark in here so if i do it oh my god it won't it, no it's not it's here it's like it's barely the only reason why it, it does this because it's sensitive to light because yeah. it's in a dark environment and nothing's lit. So this is a black I room. thought it was glowing already. No, no, no. That's because I have another light in front of it. Like one of those. Ah, well, that's LED good. Puck likes. But so, so right now my room, everything's black except for the spring light in front of me. And I have one on top of me. And then those couple of LEDs. So when I turn this, if I turn the light on and turn this on, it will normalize. And all, and you, it's like, you know, uh, vignetting or uh, when it's like kind of dark outside and it kind of gets light inside so this the corners it's black it's actually black but it doesn't seem like that on the on the camera or this webcam when it's picking Mm. up because it's the contract or i guess it's because it's i guess the setting right now is a very sensitive to light so just making it really Mm. really bright and then yeah this little reflection of barely um visible led makes it look like it's being eliminated it's, it's like it's glow in the dark yeah and yeah. i love this effect like it looks really good especially with the blue and the red over here you can really tell yeah. the difference between that oh do they cycle between colors oh yeah i, I, I can change is it. that the red it's very limited though it's not three colors it's literally red green and blue nothing in between You're right still it looks like it's a like made of glow in the dark stuff like that perfect no no, no i know what you mean yeah uh the neon um glow sticks or something sticks yeah the stars on the ceiling or whatever right right but, right right yeah mm-hmm. it's so all right so what's what's okay we got i'm seeing a c.s lewis uh set right here the classics oh and, it's just whatever uh, i had in a box that's beside me or that's behind mm-hmm. this wall which is like um my furnace and then i have some boxes there and i just wanted to get some book out for because i thought you're gonna have books out today so i wanted to match 
Yeah, but no, that's good. Normally I would, but yeah, so uh, it's okay. Um, yeah, I gotta go through them anyway. Yeah. Are there any here that are of particular significance? Oh, um, you might know this one. It's it's uh, tactics. By like chess tactics? Let me see. Is tactics that, by um, Greg Coco. So it's like a, um, what do you call it? Uh, up, 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 uh, an op- apologetic like chess puzzles? book. Oh. For apologetics. Um, wait, you might know this one. No, oh, yeah, I definitely know that one. Ha. Yeah. Haven't gone through it, but that that one made yeah, its own splash. Uh, definitely. You know Dale Carnegie? Um, yeah, are you about to pull out uh, How to Win Friends? Yeah, and I have another one. Yep, yep. No, that's Napoleon Hill. Uh, let's see. I have The Art of War by Sun Tzu. Have you read through that? Uh, yes, but... Do you like, feel like you but, could conquer the world? No, I, I need to go through it again, because I don't really remember. Like, I read it when I was... I actually... I, re- I bought it recently. Mm. So, I know the things because i used to read like chinese history back then for fun when i was like little so i have Mm -hmm. technically read it but i don't remember everything from it because it was probably more than 20 years ago um Mm. wait Uh... oh um you know the book called finding the will of god Uh, i guess that's what that is yeah it's it's uh before uh pastor daniel left Oh, was that it's one that we It's a book we that he recommended over? it. Uh, and, like, we're going to go over that. But he said that after, like, he knew he was leaving. So I don't know why he told people to buy that book. <laughs> like, it was literally, like, the week before he left. Who's so I, I ordered it. Oh. Huh? Yeah. Who's the author on that? Walt? Walt? W A L T H E. Walt. Oh, Walt? Walt or Walty or something like that, huh? Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't want to pull it because it's going to be another one. It. Yeah, it's because these things are on it and it's going to. Pull yeah, it down. That's yeah. right. So for today, let's just um Yeah, what have you got? Yeah, let's just go over the little Bible study that we did because I, I found it interesting because um Yeah. A lot of people they had did a, the uh Oh yeah, how'd your small group go? Well, you can go first. I talked a lot. First, um so. what did uh this one's weird because uh, that particular incident is so strange in its placement, and uh, it gets explained in different ways. And uh, I think I like how he did it in the sermon. Pastor G's, uh, I, I don't remember sermon because I was busy. I mean, I, I was <laughs> up doing audio, and I had to do the PowerPoint. Actually, this time um, we connected our PowerPoint to Zoom, so we, the upstairs computer had Zoom. So mm. people that were downstairs watching the PowerPoint were watching the same PowerPoint as people. Or you guys are. Oh, okay. I was wondering how y'all were doing that because I mean, is Christine out there with you? Running no, no, no. The well, she's downstairs, and mm. then she's doing her PowerPoint on like on her on her laptop downstairs. Mm. But you know, I logged into Zoom on the computer upstairs, meaning mm. that we got the same screen as you guys. And then, yeah, yeah. I mean, as that. you can do yeah. it. I mean, you can, it's, technically they can do it upstairs, but I don't know. Uh, that's not my problem yeah. anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, to do both. Dude, are you not? Oh, you, you got to do both? Why it well, Christina would have been up there helping you out. No, it's okay. At least with the slides. No, no, I can do anyway. nothing. Yeah. Uh, with this one in particular, uh, because I flipped over to the. Uh, our, our small group was comprised of a couple people I knew and one that I didn't recognize that was engaging but didn't have, like. I don't know. It was there. There was something very by the book about his responses, which is fine, but doesn't take us forward any. And so, but immediately once once that guy left, and he had to leave early. Um, <laughs> right, he had to leave. <laughs> the, he had he had to leave. I'm like, yeah. oh, okay, fine. Um, uh, but then, then it was just leaders left over, and once that happens, the conversation generally changes entirely. And so we ended up talking about something completely different, but. Uh, what, what what was this one on? This is so it was uh, Jacob wrestling with uh, with this mysterious man who is God himself in some way. Uh, oh, there were there were interesting points. They're interesting points, but they're not at the front of my mind. So it'll take me a little bit to to recover them. So what what have you got written down? What are you thinking? Actually, um, we kind of went in a well, I went in a weird direction because I recall this being a fable from back then where you know um it was a shared story mm-hmm. meaning you know uh it wasn't original to the jews and they the, the story with um, a person fighting with an angel or a god or whatever 
it was a common myth back then and I was assuming that it was uh, like an idiom or like it was a it was you know how Jews they usually say stories they, it, to illustrate a point not necessarily that that story happened so since it was in Genesis and I, I believe that I, I read so I don't I've been told this too and that this was more more I mean it's a controversy right because it's not because you can't really know because there's always contradicting information about this but so I took it as a fable and if I were to take that interpretation then would that or if I were to take it as a fable would my interpretation of what he said um, change and it kind of went from that and I think it How was they someone asked. Oh, no, the thing is, How like, pe like the one said anything for a while, for like good twenty minutes. We talked about something, and then later, people were like, "I agree with Kenny," because like, well, not necessarily. Well, I guess David said something along those lines. I forgot what he said, but I think Ashley said something along the lines of, "Oh, sometimes I take what happens in the Bible as like a allegory or something, or like a or or a metaphor sometimes because." Sometimes they don't seem believable, and we talked about that. But what I wrote down is totally different. Cause, oh no, no, it's actually related. Um, so we talked about how. Oh, who's there? So it talks about God in Genesis, and um, and Jacob wrestled with God, and uh, he fought with God, and the. I would say conquer God. I forgot what it says. I have to go back. Um, people can. Uh, read Genesis for themselves, but Hosea refers to that as an angel because I, I he also says I have it open here, and then Hosea twelve four it says or twelve three in end of it it says man who wait manhood he strove with God and four it says he strove with the angel and prevailed and I think the pastor or pastor told us that in the Old Testament a lot of the times angel and God is what do you call it. They take and take place of each other, so it's like um, you they'll can... be conflated. Also, there's right. this idea of theophany, where uh, God is appearing in a certain way, and they are manifesting Himself, and they'll call that an angel. So the terms are right, are right. And the way well. I explained it is that right, right, exactly what you said. So like, uh, oh, sorry, um, my explanation, or I guess, uh, uh, lame, lame. Um, what do you? I'll just say. So, we have email now, and I send you an email, even though that email is not me. What I said in the email is what I said, and I think Angel is a medium similar to that of an email, right? The email itself that mm -hmm. I sent you isn't me, but what's in that email is this what is I said. So exactly. Thing. So then, then I looked up Angel, and Angel is a Greek word. For, oh, uh, Greek, yeah, of, of Malak, which in Hebrew means messenger, right? So, Greek. Mm. So, it's just the message itself from God. If I were to understand it that way, it just makes a lot more sense. Because then, that way, even God may, I don't know if God reveal, revealed himself, but like you said, it could be in the form of a revealment, or it can be an angel, or vice versa, but it would kind of be the same thing because the message would be the same because it, it would have been a message from God in that type of way I don't know I, I'm not a Hebrew scholar or I, I'm not a Jew <laughs> from you know 4,000 years ago so I would not yeah. know what they thought and like I said I, we don't totally know if I mean we, we conflate it into different things maybe it was maybe it wasn't like I don't know I would need to do a lot more research. So that's that's what yeah, I said. Yeah, this one, this one's hard to settle on. The one thing that, uh, and I know people would have arguments for this. I'm I'm not up on them. Uh, the one thing that uh, will come back <clears throat> that deserves a question is uh, the one of the results of this event is Jacob walks out with a bum leg, and he keeps it for the rest of Genesis. Like that's a big part of his character, and it's something that's very defining. And uh, I mean, you could go back and say, like, well, there was some event that was maybe to him significant, but certainly not supernatural. He didn't wrestle with God, whatever that would be, uh, and he came out injured, and so he limped, and he called that symbolic for something. Um, the 
problem with, and this, this is going to go in both directions, so we'll just list them both. The problem with taking the text extremely literally is we d don't really know where to, I don't know. It feels like we end up believing some very unbelievable things. And it's not even certain whether they were meant to be taken as these literal events. Right. Uh, the problem with allegorizing is that uh, it's the same thing in the other direction. Like, well, what what actually happened anymore? We start losing the meaning of the text uh, in in very serious ways. Where uh, how much can I trust of this? Uh, I mean, ultimately, was Jacob a real figure? We seem to believe he is, but we're reliant on Jewish history for this, uh, and Jewish history is the Old Testament, so. Mm, how do we come to conclusions? So it does end up coming down to some interpretive policy, and I'm not really sure where I land for this one specifically. But it is a it is a difficult thing to land on for sure. Also, like when you, when you see God, does I mean if it was a God or even if it was an angel, does God take cheap shots? God couldn't go overcome Jacob, so he had to cheat. <laughs> like, yeah, you know so what I mean? That doesn't on... that doesn't sound like God at all. So like, what's going on here? So this this one I actually like what he said um, what, in in his sermon <clears throat> he says uh, there's a difference between okay this is the one that was straight this is the one that I wasn't expecting he says there's a difference between saying uh, God was not able to do something and to say that he couldn't do something so the point wasn't so much that he wasn't able to because I mean you know God can Thanos snap existence out of existence or or everything out of existence anyway uh so there's no saying that he couldn't overcome him, but it's or that he wasn't able to overcome him but to say that he couldn't overcome him means that there's perhaps another reason that he couldn't and i think the point that he was trying to make was that he couldn't overcome jacob without killing him or in this case taking a cheap shot not so much that he wouldn't beat him but that jacob's not going to stop fighting until he gets the blessing that he was asking for and so now we have something that fits in with the theme of jacob's life because that's that's the struggle i mean he comes out he's the guy that's gripping the heel he's the guy that's uh fighting his brother for a birthright and then running away from him this ongoing struggle for blessing and uh then he finally demands it of god and uh in a way that god's like he's either gonna get himself killed or i'm gonna have to give him what he wants I think that this starts to get to a point where he's sort of forcing God's hand, but I, that's perhaps more of a philosophical bent. Right. The whole point of it is more uh, Jake was wrestling so hard that he had his own, his own life that he was willing to throw into this battle, and uh, that was something that God honored, apparently. Uh, and so he ends up going out with a bum leg because that's, that, that apparently seems fitting. Um, he does carry it with that, and you end up with a new name, you know, wrestles with God, that kind of thing. Right. Um, what, what, shoot, what was the thing that I was addressing? That was just that was one of the things that I was impressed with by, of the sermon, by the way. Yeah, it's saying that you know God had that. God. It's not that he can't can't, but he just, no wait. It's not that he can't. He just wouldn't. He didn't, it's yeah. not that he wasn't able. Yeah, yeah. that he wouldn't. It's, it's like, can idea. I go to the washroom or may I go to the washroom? That type of debate. Yeah, kind you of can, sort of but thing. you might not. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's significant too because the uh, it, you end up with this kind of uh, um, let's see when it says God can't lie. Like, what does that even mean? I mean, he's, he's totally unable. What do, what do we mean he can't lie? We when we start saying right, that God right. can't do certain things, what we end up say, looking at more uh, profoundly is there are things that you can't make him do. There's no circumstances where someone can force him to uh, betray his character to a, to at all. <clears throat> and so when we say he can't, we're saying more about what we can't get him to do. Is he just won't. When I was in middle school, um, I think a friend of mine asked, or he said, uh, can God microwave a burrito so hot that he can't even eat it? This is my, oh gosh, my goodness. The, <laughs> the variation. I remember that. Rock yeah, thing. yeah. Yeah. It's... Oh, boy. Anyway, How that yeah, that kind of explains indeed. this whole situation. I actually have one more input. Um, so I mm. see Jacob as this very immoral person that are that is not willing to. Uh -huh. First of all, his so he did a very evil act. But the re like, for example, in our society, if someone were to commit a crime and then blame it on his mom, the reason why I did it because it's or this my mom or this person told me to do it. I killed that person or I stole because this other person told me to do it so it's not my fault like that's ludicrous and this is what 
situation Jacob had created for himself. This this is a person that has no back, you know, has no guts, doesn't take any any responsibility for himself. Also, he's very prideful in the fact that he would name something because he think he beat a god or an angel and name something after that because, you know, like to commemorate like his victory over this thing. So why is God feeding his ego? Mm-hmm. You, you know what I'm trying to say, or do you understand? Like I don't understand that. Is that because By changing his name to something exact, even more? I, yeah, noble? like I don't think that's something I would do if I was God, and I don't know if that's something. I mean, I'm not. Well, I can question God that people do, but I don't mean it in that way. I'm like, why God? Like, it's just I don't understand how that happened. If that was God, or if that was, like. If I was God, that would not, I wouldn't, why would God, or why, yeah, why would God feed his ego and let him win in such a humiliating way mm-hmm. for God? I mean, it, 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 like I can't process it in my head. Yeah. The other thing, we, uh, alongside that is uh, you go through the judges and uh, especially when you get to Samson, because Samson gets listed in Hebrews in what they call the Hall of Faith and you have this list of awesome heroes and they did awesome things uh and samson's in there but if you read samson he's not a good guy no he's like, not he's, he's too- kind of a dirt bag and uh uh jacob seems to be about the same way abraham abraham makes a few uh mistakes that are sort of questionable and these are like these are the big guys of yeah the, if, if the you think about it, samson's like i'm gonna massacre these people everyone in here because they made fun of me like what the yeah. heck <laughs> yeah I mean, yeah. I, I, I get it, but that's that's with... kind of extreme too, you know. Yeah, and he's out sleeping around. Sleeping around. Yeah, with exactly. The, with yeah, the enemy and uh, um, and he was a prophet. Only... And he was, he's considered a prophet. Oh, yeah, he's adulterer. a judge. Oh. The only thing that I've, I guess, this is what where I end up settling on this, at least for now, because I think it, I need to investigate this more. Uh, there seems to be a standard of. Excellence isn't the right word. What makes a person, uh, for like a better term, just good? What makes a good person? And we have our own standards that we've got set, uh, usually from our own experience. You know, who are the people around that I think have been, you know, most admirable, whatever. Uh, and usually for good reason. Most of those things are backed up in scripture. But there are these weird, yeah, these uh, sometimes deplorable characters in scripture that end up being praised. And it seems that there are certain uh, qualities that God values that we don't even appreciate or recognize. And it's, I, I think, part. oh yeah, uh, uh, Jonah be another fantastic oh. example of this. He wasn't that what bad, old brat. Uh, and he went and did it. I think, the, I think what it is about these guys, and this is what maybe what God uh, values above everything else, is the faith aspect of it. Because... Uh, for all the people that are doing pretty well and they've got their morals in check, they, uh, yeah, good. That's, that's you know, Sermon on the Mount stuff. You're doing well. Uh, that's different from someone from, say, I, I, Jonah's got to be the best example of this. Jonah uh, was had such a firm faith in God. Like, he was totally sold. He, he knew that God was controlling this whole situation. He wouldn't go because he knew that God would forgive them. Uh it wasn't like, I don't know if you can pull this yeah. off, God. Like, he was totally convinced. And I think that being convinced, that genuine belief, is something that God values way more than we ever imagined. Which is frustrating sometimes because you'll meet some people that are faithful uh, to what feels like us a fault. And yet that's where God puts the priority. These people that, oh, uh, that was another thing. Uh, the Russian Orthodox have uh, this this figure that... Uh, called the fool i think he's got another name it's obviously russian but the idea is this is the guy who is totally sold to uh to god and his kingdom and building that and uh to the point where like the rest of the world like you know uh damn it all i'll i this 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 life is not valuable to me so i'm just going to do whatever god needs me to do and they'll do things that are apparently you know foolish and crazy uh but God's taking care of them, so what can you say? Uh, and uh, that's something that seems to come out of this, where 
the our kind of conventional morality, which we can derive from scripture, isn't the highest value. It's the what's the commitment? What, who are the people who really believe, and what does that kind of life look like? It's uh, it's quite different. It's sometimes unconventional, uh, but nevertheless, it's something that the Creator values the most. The people who saw through it all, the people who really really did trust Him and believe Him. We get that from Sansa, we get that from Jacob, we get that from Abraham, we get that from them all. Yeah, Jonah really reminded, like, as soon as you brought up Jonah, I'm like, oh man, this is, it's the same for me, because like right now, you're kind of judging Samson for all the ills that him and, you know, other people that we just talked about. But like, our perspective of something bad is different from what God thinks. So, you know, in our mm-hmm. eyes, like, adultery, oh man, this guy's terrible, he just killed, like, massacred people. Same thing with, um, you know, uh, like, like you said, Jonah. Jonah's like, yeah, I don't want all these guys to be forgiven. Like, I hate these guys, or these guys are evil. But, like, we th- I mean, I think that's terrible. And, mm-hmm. But I guess in God's perspective, we're not that much better than that, I guess. Yeah. In that sense, we're, we're and just as bad. I don't know. Yeah. But whatever is... And uh, I wonder if... It could be that those people are even more consistent with their beliefs as well. Uh, maybe they wear it on their sleeves, I don't know. But there's a lot of times where we feel like we've got a pretty good view of humanity and the people around us. But there's a lot more underlying hatred, a lot more uh, just that our perspectives are not always as pure as we would like to admit that they are, even to ourselves. So there's different parts of that. that is, uh, that's a tough reflection right there. Lots to admit. Yeah. I think uh, we're good. There you go. (laughs) Oh, we're going to have this really weird, like...